Hey everybody, it's Pastor Tom here. Um, I wonder if you've seen the movie Groundhog Day. It's that film where Bill Murray plays a TV weatherman and he's on assignment and he's covering the annual Groundhog Day event. And while he's there, he gets caught in a time loop where he essentially relives the same day every day over and over and over again. Well, that's maybe how you're feeling. That's often the, the way I feel. And I've been thinking about that verse that says, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And, and just challenged by the thought that every day is a new gift from God. And we shouldn't be caught just living the same day over and over again. And so I, I was just thinking about offering some suggestions as to how not to live that way, how to live uh, each day as a gift from God. Uh, four suggestions. The first is consistency. Consistency. And what I mean by that is that we find in the midst of our days regular patterns. These are not ruts, but these are rhythms that we, that we take on and establish. Rhythms of waking and resting and playing and working, ordering our days in a way that that gives ourselves consistency around the essential things of life. Finding times with God, finding times with people. Um, if you're like us, you've got a, a schedule on your refrigerator that reminds you of who in your family has what responsibilities at what times during the day. Uh, and so I just encourage you to find some consistency throughout your days as you make your way uh, through this season. The second word is creativity. Creativity is is bringing into existence something new as we stretch the, the boundaries of our minds and our creative thought and energy. I think each day it's important that we find ways for a creative outlet. Now this could be learning a new skill. Maybe spending some time and, and learning how to play an instrument. Um, I've sort of tapped into my childhood passion of magic and my girls and I have been, uh, have been learning some magic tricks and uh, sharing them with folks online. But, but stretching your creative outlet is important during this season. So consistency and creativity. The third is generosity. Generosity always gets yourself out of the smallness of your life, out of your own circumstances, and you begin to think about how you can bless other people. We've been talking about this at Grace for, for several weeks now. But this is really a time for us to be generous, especially at a time when, when it's so easy to allow our anxieties to, to keep us retreating um, and our fears to keep us sort of circling the wagons of our own lives, how important it is to look to others and to find ways to bless people, to be generous to others. So maybe it's writing notes of appreciation to somebody in your sphere who is serving on the front lines in some way here in this season. Maybe, uh, maybe it's sending a money gift to someone who you know is in financial uh, hard times. Finding moments of generosity is really important. So consistency, creativity, generosity. And then the fourth I'd recommend is the word Sabbath, Sabbath. So many of us are working 24 seven now these days, and it's very easy to get caught up into a rhythm and routine where we don't take days off, where we don't find time for rest. See, Sabbath is resting to enjoy God's good gifts. And Sabbath is, is where we let our minds settle and rest. The fact is we're living in New England during one of the most beautiful seasons here in springtime as spring blossoms into summer. And Sabbath is, is going on a walk and looking around. It's uh, enjoying the beauty as spring bursts forth. Sabbath is recognizing the goodness, even in the midst of this crazy time, of God's good creation. It, it's taking time to not only enjoy what God has given to you, but to reflect back to him with gratitude and praise. And so consistency, creativity, generosity, and Sabbath. I really believe these will help us and keep us from living the same day 
day in and day out and actually enjoying the good gifts that God has given to us and, and reminding ourselves that this is the day the Lord has made, that we will rejoice and be glad in it.